What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today I've got some more Hearts of Iron 4. This is the Kaiserreich mod. We are playing as Chile here. Last episode we were working on building up the country. Let's keep it going. We've got 20 days or so left on the delay tactic here for the uh, mobile warfare doctrine that we're working on. And I'm trying to get down towards some more manpower. So taking the Volkskrim here and the non-discriminatory, which will help boost up with another 5% or so for recruitable population, which is going to be exciting. We're still missing one oil and one tungsten right now. The front lines are all sort of set. And then we're waiting on a little bit of artillery here for our last division that we were training up. I've got another modifier here on elastic defense. So let's go ahead and take that as we continue to move down that tree. Got one, two, three, four more before we can start working on additional manpower. Okay, mobility potential just finished up. Excellent. Let's go ahead and look at the communard expertise here. We get some armor technology boost from that. We do have our next sort of uh, mountaineer division ready, so let's send him in. No divisions in basic training. So, knowing that, let's train up another two Mountaineer Divisions, which will eat up a little bit more manpower, which is fine. Actually, let's go ahead and add a third to that order. Okay, that leaves me 33k or so in overall manpower, which we're going to need to keep in the bank for when we go to war. Uh, here is this guy now moving up. United Baltic Duchy declared war on the, United, or the uh, Kingdom of Estonia there, and Latvia. Interesting stuff. Okay, you can see my sprites. They look pretty cool. We've got sort of that British style helmet. Dark uniforms. So they are hanging out on the border there, um, trying to reinforce the Argentinian line. You can see they have several, several divisions stacked up here. Uh, in between 16 and 18 divisions overall, right? We've got our navy sitting here still. And we're trying to work on upgrading the uh, Army to Infantry Equipment Level 1s. Second International Congress, we shall attend. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we're going to attend just from a political power standpoint there. <laughs> that would have been rough if we did not uh, join in. Haiti declared war on the Dominican Republic. Okay. Research then. Six days left on the Concentrated Industry 2. So that's going to be coming in for us. Five days left there. Four. So once that pops off, we can tr uh, sort of upgrade here to the Improved Machine Tools. And then that sort of finishes us out from an economic research standpoint there for a little while. Oh, and we've got the war in the U.S. that's kicked off here now. Concentrated Industry Level 2 done. Let's go ahead and get the improved machine tools. Excellent. Free civilian factories. Nice. So let's actually put in for another civilian factory here. And then after that, we're going to put in for a military factory like this. Uh, we can actually... I was hoping to be able to move towards um, the partial mobilization here, but unfortunately, you can see uh, we've had some peace treaties pop out and such. So let's just go early here just to help out my factories. Early, early mobilization. That's what's going to help me out the most right now. So that did give me an extra civilian factory working for us too. The Second American Civil War. Troublesome. So this one's going to finish out December 28th of this year. So in about another eight months or so. And just as that happened, good God, it did pop up to the 15% there. So I could have taken the partial mobilization, I do believe. No, and it has to be a 20%. So Second International. There we go. Thought we wasted that political power, but we did not, so that's the good news. I, I want to get the strategic mining in to get that 10 extra steel production in my country. Austrian Empire declared war on Kingdom of Hungary. Day 6, South American Socialists call for help. The socialist regime in Santiago is surrounded by reactionaries, especially in La Plata. It seems that the best way to protect the government is to ask for international support via the Second International Congress. Okay, we could try to beg for help here. The British have agreed to help. Lend us a helping hand. We will probably receive the shipment in some days when they will be, be done preparing it. Uh, 
France has agreed as well. Okay. So I'm not sure what we're getting here in this shipment, so-called. But uh, I did get some extra political power out of all of that. So approaching 15 guns per day now in overall production. The good news is we've hit over one per day for towed artillery as well. Okay. The final act of the second international. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Serbia declares war on Bulgaria there. So nothing happening in terms of factions then from all of that. Yep, Britain not even in a um, faction yet with France or anything like that either. Uh, let's take a look at the government here. So what should we put in next? Weapons manufacturer potentially? Soft attack breakthrough. Let's take that one. Those are some good stats to have. Excellent. Spain going through their civil war next. Carlos to Spain. Spanish Civil War, troublesome development there. Yep. Okay, construction level two there is finishing up. So we're good till 1939 and all of that stuff. 29% world tension now. So we need that political power to keep going up so we can move even into partial mobilization. Okay, I'm thinking we're going to take this slot here and actually... 1939. Meh. Yeah, let's take the support weapons one. Okay, we'll get that going. Loving having the four research slots right now. Canadians declare war on Denmark, so they continue to be aggressive. For sure. Still building up here. We've got all of our... Well, we need some artillery, actually. For about 44 in each new division there that'll be popping out. Make sure we only pop out one division per uh, training there. Okay, let's bump it back to speed five now. We're at 31% world tension. So things getting a little crazy. Elastic defense is now done. So we're going to go... Uh, I think we're going to go... Tanks are not really important to us in this part of the world, at least yet. Right? So we're going to go uh, with this mobile infantry doctrine here. Mechanical computing has 40 days left or so. 39 days. Yep, yep, yep. That artillery is still pumping in for us now. So 1.12 per day. We're going to get an extra artillery every 10 days or so out of that down to 101, so we're going to need to start stockpiling those as well as soon as we finish up. And we're also producing 1.25 destroyers per year. Eighteen days left here on the mechanical computing. Not really a big deal to start per, uh, researching tanks. Strategic mining done, so we did get that extra resource in. Unassigned divisions. Okay. Okay, let's start down here with army rearmament this way. Now, hold on a second, too. Third chairman. Okay, elections for third chairman still have not happened. So, I can't move down any of the other sides of the tree there. Galatia has capitulated. So, let's see what that looks like over here. Wow. Hungary still at war with the Austrian Empire. Bulgaria is still at war with Serbia there. You've got Albania here, who has a little bit of extra territory than what you're used to seeing. They're also an autonomous puppet of the Ottoman Empire there. Research slot now. Okay, so... Hmm. Time to upgrade this artillery, for sure. 125 days there. We're good till 39 we get to that level two mark or so and then here's the spanish civil war got those three factions all going at it there carlos spain i think won in my last campaign um 
So they'll probably win that again. Cynicalism spreads to Burma. Okay. Good. So. Improved machine tools now coming in. Done. Excellent. Uh, conversion speed bonus 40%. We have uh, engineering companies researched out there. August of 37. Let's get uh, motorized researched out. That's only 21 days. Oh, Bulgaria and Serbia declare a white peace there. So that's interesting. Not really what we were expecting there. What's Cuba? Cuba are currently market liberals. Okay, so gearing up here to whatever is going to happen in South America. Here's two more of the divisions that we've trained up. We're up to six divisions now, total. Yep, just waiting on this artillery to come in. Motorized and finishes. Great. Hmm. What do we need next? Tempted to go for some additional support stuff. We could also look at upgrading our fighters and close air supports. Radar industry. Tell you what, let's actually get the synthetic oil in. Okay, so we can technically justify on Bulgaria for, or not Bulgaria, but Bolivia, for example. We need to expand our territory. That makes the most sense. They are showing as having five divisions. Let's actually justify. 205 days. So we'll take the army then. Delete this order. Go something like this. Boom. Everybody sort of move up into that position there. We're also going to update our template here to include some artillery. All right, so that used up the rest of my army experience. So we're going to give them an automatic order to hit the capital. Try to hit the capital. Something like that, right? Okay. Mexico at war with the Pacific States of America. Interesting. Interesting. The Yersin Party, led by Frank Miriam. Republic of China took seven states. So let's actually try to move up. Do I have an airbase up here? Austria finishing their war. I guess the nearest airbase I have is right here. Alright, let's bring back these two air wings like this. They're sort of out of range, right? Army rearmament done. Nice. Let's actually plug them into the closest air base here. Put in our bombers. 25. They're not even going to reach Bolivia, so um, that's actually a moot point there. Once we finish... Well, we still got that other civilian factory on the way. All right, let's go ordinance updates here. Support artillery gets that research bonus, so that's good. Mm, got this one last division that's getting ready to pop out here. Just waiting on a couple extra artillery units. Support weapons, one is finished. Okay, so we're heading towards 38. I get these bonuses. Let's hit this one up, giving us a soft attack bonus. We're going to need that as we go in against Bolivia here. Hopefully they have some good building slots available for me to use. I could put some air bases here in the far north eventually. Let's make sure that uh, they're not going to join a faction or anything as well. I mean, that could be dangerous. That could be pretty dangerous. Okay. 
Reinforcements at the front. Oh, they're getting their artillery there in that infantry division. That's what's happening. Okay, this guy here. So he's going to fill up pretty soon. Synthetic oil is coming out. Trade-wise, we're not really... We are exporting steel. So we do have a surplus of that. And that is giving me one factory, one extra factory. The fall of Washington. Crazy. Let's see what's going on up there. Yeah. Oh, look at all the different factions still fighting here. New England out on its own as well. Mexico picking up territories here. Ottomans trying to expand their territory. Up to 41 political power now. I think I'm going to use air power as in our conquests across South America. The Andean strategy. We get some additional land forts, weapons, artillery bonuses, land doctrine again, and there's my extra army experience. Tanks and tank production cost is a good bonus here. I mean, tanks would be cool, but I just don't know how useful they're going to be in the mountains up here in South America. Not very. Okay, we're actually showing as being undermatched here now against the Bolivians, but they are very poorly supplied, so I'm not sure how much I trust my general on this one. All right, these uh, King of Poland declares on Lithuania. Nice. So these artilleries are going to start flowing in. Yep. And we're going to have to start stockpiling, like, immediately. The other thing, the other good thing... Um, Of going down this way, I was going to say. Oh, this is where you get all your extra factories and such down this way. Okay. That's fine. Improved infantry equipment one is done. Good. So that was an early bonus. Good till 1939 there. Working on that artillery. We might as well get the conversion tech here. So we'll get that going in. Ten days left here on the interwar artillery. So once that pops out... Oh good, we got our extra division. Let's send him up north here. So that does strengthen our attack force quite a bit. No naval stuff to worry about, so that's good. Good, good, good. He's going to keep moving northwards. Go ahead, buddy. Taking him a while to uh, get there. Man, I cannot wait to move towards early mobilization here. Okay. Heavy equipment manufacturers, air and naval... We do need to start filling out our political slots as well, or excuse me, our um, chief of army and such. Done there, nice. Okay, I'm actually going to swing over to the air research now and get fighter one in. Ordnance updates done. Sweet. We need Indian strategy for all three of those. Let's do that. Another 70 days there or so. Manpower is still going up at a very, very slow rate. They're taking some attrition. 40%? Wow. That sucks, because they're... While well, they're moving through the mountains in December. That's what's happening there. But I have some really strong divisions here set up against the Bolivians. Against their five. We're going to finish this up in April 2nd. Of next year, so about four more months, and we're gonna be ready to go to war. Excellent, cool guys. Well, anyway, I just wanted to say thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and/or comment if you've enjoyed my content, and we'll catch you guys next time.